the ball, but he hasn't got support. JJ comes now on the right hand side. Sunil's back with him, gives it, chips it forward. Sunil Jetri! The captain fantastic. Sunil Chetri is the greatest Indian player ever. He is very popular among Indian football fans and is the face of Indian football in modern times. He is the current captain of the Indian national team at Bengaluru FC. He is the most capped player, 115 appearances, at all-time goal scorer, 72 goals, in Indian football history. Sunil Chetri is the fourth highest international goal scorer among active players, after Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi and Ali Mabka. He has won the AIFF Player of the Year a record six times so far. Peter Tongaraj Peter Tongaraj began his career as a striker before switching to become a goalkeeper, a decision which eventually proved wise as he became the best goalkeeper in Indian football history. He represented India at the 1956 and 1960 Olympics and the 1958, 1962 and 1966 Asian Games. Jurnel Singh Jurnal Singh Dillon was a former Indian football player, who played as a centre-back. He was the captain of the Indian national football team from 1965 to 1967. He is the only Indian footballer to be selected as the captain of the Asian All-Star football team in 1966. Gosta Pal Gosta Behari Pal was the first captain of Indian national team, played during the 1920s and 1930s. Nicknamed as China Prachir, the Wall of China, he was one of the best defenders of contemporary Indian football. A statue was erected in the memory of Gosta Pal in 1984, at Kolkata Maiden area. Neville D'Souza Neville D'Souza represented his nation at the 1956 Summer Olympics, where he became the first Asian player to score a hat-trick in an Olympic Games. Mohamed Salim Mohamed Salim the first ever Indian footballer to play in Europe. He starred for Mohamed and FC Sporting in his native India helping the club to five consecutive Calcutta Football League from 1934 to 1938. He died on November 5, 1980. But his achievements as a footballer who spearheaded Mohammedan Sporting's golden years and mesmerized fans in Glasgow, live on.